Hello, Pisces. Welcome. This is your tarot reading for the next seven days. I'm going to take a look first at the energy. We just had new moon in Cancer. See what might be showing up for you from that new moon. Any kind of new beginnings unfolding over the next two weeks. Even though we're looking at the next seven days always, but the new moons talk about the next couple weeks and so forth. Um, we're going to take a look at intuitive messages and then who and what's coming towards you. And of course, what to expect from each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces. So make sure to say happy birthday to Cancer if you want to win a personal reading. And if you want a personal reading from me, my information is down below at my website. Assess the situation. Virgo energy showing up for you. Your opposing sign showing up over here. You know, it's like you're over here daydreaming and everything looks great and dandy, you know, Pisces in there, you know, everything looks great. I love my I love you guys so much. I do. I have a I I know a lot of Pisces manies and i I have a lot of Pisces in my family. Um, but you're being called to the Virgo side, your opposing element, which is um zoom in, zoom in a little bit and make sure everything is you know, exactly how you really think. All right. So somebody said this wild, like the Pisces and Neptune um, in retrograde, it's like the wit, the, the tide is coming out. And so you're going to see all that's beneath the surface, everything that's underneath the water. Right. So it's going to be like, hmm, this is what this really is all about. This is what's really happening. Oh, I didn't see that. Ah. I didn't know what was I thinking, you know, or like, oh, wow, there's some gems underneath there, right? This might be better than I imagined. This, you know, I was judging or thinking or, you know, and I didn't realize the gold that was, that was underneath all this, right? So some of these things are going to come clear to you this week. I kind of, I love that energy, but I'm getting more Virgo energy for you here too. Trust all will be well. All right. So how beautiful is that? Let's get the energies. Keep going here for my Pisces. Let's give Pisces some love. What can they expect in the next seven days? For their highest good. What does Pisces need to hear? What kind of energy? What kind of... Um, you may have a Virgo coming into your life too, All right. And so they, you know, be in your opposite sign. You know, maybe maybe that's what I was picking up on. The Virgo is pissing you off or you're not sure. But they're in your life for a reason. And you guys um, really could balance each other out well and learning from each other. All right. Trying energy. All right. So this is all about harmony. Uh, you have a lot of angelic support around you. Yay. And you're in perfect flow. So again, trust all will be well. I do though see that you're going to be seeing some gems that you're going to be seeing some, some things that you didn't see prior. All right. And there's, you know, it just is what it is. You know, um, everything looks great when you first buy it and then you get it home and you're like, what the, yeah, this doesn't look as well as it looked. And when I put it on and, you know, things like that, but I feel like there's a lesson for my Pisces here, right? Because, um, you know, it, it might not seem, and maybe some of you, it's not as good as you thought, but there was something here for you to learn in that situation. And then again, going back to the opposites, maybe it's what you need or it's it, it can be what you might not think it's what you want. But again, what we want and what we need are two different things. We have Sagittarius energy showing up for you. So beautiful energy of staying optimistic. We have house six energy establishing a foundation this week. So many of you may have set some intentions when it comes to your finances, health, work, daily life, and all the little practical details that we have to um, attend to every day, the mundane stuff, all right? So it seems as though you're, you may be finding yourself um, beginning a new uh, health regimen or um, you know, establishing the, establishing the rules around a commitment, establishing a new way of doing things, a new schedule for yourself, very Virgo energy. It's just, 
you know, coming in for you. Uh, house six is ruled by Virgo too, as well. So it's assessing your situation too. So for many of you, if you're going, what the hell is going on? Why is everything? Why? Why can't things work out? Or why? Why do I feel stressed? Why am I hungry all the time? Why this? Why that? Why this? All right. This could be where the assessing the situation. What needs to change in your life? All right. Um, explore explore with this Sagittarius energy this week. You're being asked to step out of your comfort zone and and sort of get out there and see what's out beyond on the horizons. Um, find some freedom and setting yourself free from some of the, you know, the things that you stress about the most or the things that you've been wanting to change in your life. I mean, this is one, you know, I, I hate hearing myself complain about something I need to do, like just move to a new place. And I've got a really messy office. That's why I'm sitting out here. I've got to put it together. And I'm like, eh. you know, but I've got to, you know, kind of step in there and, you know, if, do what I don't want to do, right. And organize it. So you are being asked to do this. Um, you have a lot of changes coming your way with these new beginnings happening, but you need to step into um, this emperor energy and start to initiate and make it happen. So you get in a very initiative type of energy. Let's see what else is showing up for my Pisces. I keep looking at this pile over here and I wanted to pick this pile and see what else is coming in from this new moon. What else can Pisces expect? It could be a Sag Virgo around you. All right. So you may have recently dealt with an unsuccessful outcome to a problem in your life. Again, this is talking about assessing the situation. All right, seeing some sort of truths that were happening. I feel like my Pisces, I feel like um, the bridge was already broken. I feel like you may have tried to... Um, keep something going or fix something or make something work a certain way. And uh, it was unsuccessful for you. And maybe some of you were like, what the hell, you know, what, what else can I do? Well, this is part of this energy this week where new solutions and stepping outside the box, there's another solution to this problem, another way around it. Um, I don't feel like you could have done anything differently at the time. That will make sense to whoever needs to hear that. Spiritual guidance here. You have an angel, protection from harm. So you got strong angelic support around you. And I've pulled out Michael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Ariel is here. And any of your angels that you call in all the time, you are really connected and so much. And, and you do have this energy of perfect flow. So you're right where you're meant to be. It's just if you're worrying and stressing about the practical things in life, the daily things in life, you know, this to me feels like you can kind of zoom out, trust, trust that everybody's working for you all around, all your angels and spirits. Now it's about getting down to the, you know, the, the, the 3D and just getting things going and doing what you have to do every day. But you have a lot of spiritual guidance. There could be a new guide coming your way. Happy you have the sun card showing up and you have Leo showing up. All right. So the lion. So from this point in moving into, we have Leo and Mercury too right now, which is very, very passionate. Um, I've been feeling it in a very passionate, uh, expressive, creative way. Um, but this is also from now to Leo season, your, the sun is just shining for you. There's a lot of luck coming in, maybe with money, romance, and um, playfulness, some dates, some play dates, but you have some sense of well-being you do have establishing a foundation so getting it going right now and seeing results by august you, know, you could still catch that the beach season the lion is saying time to act so it was that same emperor energy that i'm getting for you too um it, it is it's just time to act all right not sitting around wishfully thinking or or waiting for it to manifest and i'm saying this because it's just i see it in everyday life i see it with everybody I see it with myself you know manifest manifest for me but we've got to take inspired action someone you may feel is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want okay um, and you're getting get back to the basics as well, too. So what I'm seeing is try not to get uh, be aware. First of all, be aware that you do have somebody that's trying to come between you and a friend. All right. They, there could be jealousy. Um, there's other motives. Um, 
And, and if it's just it's something you want, it's jealousy or it's just they, they don't, some people don't want to see us bounce ahead of them. They don't want to see us jump up. They want to keep us where they're at. So uh, they feel comfortable where they're at and, and they have somebody to hang out with, right? And you're ready. It seems like it's time for you to act. You're ready to, to, to take another leap or a step up in your life. And that's why you're getting so much Virgo and house six energy. And you've got the North node underneath here, destined to have a different type of life. You're destined to have um, luxury and success in your life. And somebody may be holding you back in a sense, uh, making you feel um, without, they might not even realize it, right? Um, but if you move on, that means they may lose you. Or if you get this better job or you get accepted to this school or, you know, you, you um, make more money or you do something that you've always wanted to do or you start getting in shape and this person isn't, you know, there's, um, you're, you're showing them their weakness, what they want to do, but they can't do. It was 11-11 when I said that. So this is, it's time for you to kind of break out of that and focus on your own happiness and well-being. All right. Let's see um, who and what's coming towards you. And you may be trying to do everything you can to make somebody in your life happy Um and doing everything like this unsuccessful outcome to a problem, like nothing you do ever seems to work. Um, and you know, it's one of these things where sometimes, um, it's intentional subconsciously, but it is intentional, um, out of fear that somebody doesn't want to lose you. Four cups energy. So there is a sense of you're not feeling it anymore. All right. The ten of swords, the four of cups here. Um, you are, there's an energy for somebody, a Pisces here, where it's like you're, you're over something. You're, you don't want to, you feel stuck. Things aren't the way they used to be. You're not as, you're not having as much fun. Um, it seems like um, you're in this energy, but I feel like it's the energies of the people around you too, as well. That's keeping you stuck in this energy. And uh, you're in this, you, you, you need to break out of this energy to move forward and get it back on your own track. We have the seven of pentacles. There it is. It's time for a new direction for you. All right. So making some plans here, maybe you've already been thinking about what it is you want to do. Maybe you feel a little stuck or you feel like there's a roadblock. Again, I feel like the roadblock was for you to kind of take a look at and where you're going to be seeing beneath the surface this week, you may be seeing the signs and seeing the things that you didn't see about other people before, maybe really showing up and it's going to help you make a decision this week to move into your new direction. We have exploring the Sagittarius, your freedom, exploring, moving forward. You just might be like, this is too much. This, I'm, okay, I'm done. I, I really want to um, go on this new path. And I had the eight of pentacles. So you're accelerating pretty quick when it comes to making a decision and moving on a new, um, in a new direction, All right? You're getting a quick return of investment this week, whether it comes from, if you decide to get a new job, you're going to get it. If you, if you're looking for money, uh, it's going to come in for you. If you're trying to get over a block with a relationship, you get into the point. It seems like you're working things out. So it seems like things are happening. You have this, remember this trying energy, which is showing a perfect flow. Like if things are going to happen because you're putting yourself first. You're stepping up. You're putting your own happiness first. And when we do that with the sun card, happiness and well-being, we put ourselves first and we start to take things seriously and move forward. Everything is in harmony with us, right? We're, we're right where we're supposed to be. We have the eight of cups showing up. So I am seeing you going on some sort of journey. This could be um, a spiritual journey. This could be actual physical, maybe going somewhere to be by yourself, hanging out, trying to collect yourself. 
uh, this is you evolve in those spiritual evolution, um, your experience in many upgrades, and it's helping you move forward on your journey. You meet people for a reason, all right? And that's the angel of Shamuel. We meet people for a reason, but you're starting to figure out, um, you know, what you need and what you don't need. And maybe there are some people that you met them to learn something about yourself so that you can move on. All right. But I feel like you're ready here. So it's free will, but you're ready and you're doing this naturally. And there's the Hierophant. So we are seeing leveling up for my Pisces this week, leveling up in a commitment this week as well. Um, and so there's a possibility of you finally knowing which direction you're going in when it comes to a relationship, receiving some sort of inner wisdom or knowledge from somebody else um, about where the direction of a relationship is going. We're talking about love now. We do see the sun card, the lion. It could be Leo energy, Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy, Taurus energy. Uh, it could be anybody though, right? But we are seeing that you are supported in whatever decision that you make. A beautiful relationship could be stemming from deciding to or noticing if somebody's trying to hold you back, if somebody's telling you something about somebody, you know, you need to figure, you need to assess the situation somebody may be gossiping about another person saying something about this person or, or trying to get you to think this person is a certain way and that's not the truth and it could have been holding you back from finding your happiness with somebody all right so this week it's about knowledge and getting to the point um figuring out what's been holding you back why is this person why does it feel like we are connected but we can't seem to um, be connected so remember that there could be somebody that's trying to or has been and trying to connect with you, but there's been somebody here um, not being in their highest integrity or not. And, and, and the thing is, is it, it could it doesn't have to be vicious, but it could be withholding information from somebody, like telling somebody how interested you are in them, telling somebody how much you like them, or they could be um, just blocking you from moving forward. So keep an eye on that this week because you will notice that when you get that aha moment you and another person are going to click together and level up and move forward. It's going to be like, damn. So you might be cutting your, you might be cutting somebody out that you, you know, I feel like you knew you couldn't trust them to begin with, especially um, with the 10 of swords. The 10 of swords says, you know, I, I knew this. I saw this. I felt it. My intuition, my heart of all hearts told me, but I kept, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt um, or something. I kept ignoring that nudge I was getting. All right. So let's see, though. Let's look at Aries through Pisces and see um, their thoughts, what, whatever comes through. When I do Aries through Pisces, I base it on the read that I just did here. So meditate on the sign that you wish to know about um, and also check. You can check their rising or your Venus. Um, but I'm what I do is I incorporate it. So I might get a message of what they're thinking, what their actions are, how they're feeling or just whatever spirit wants you to know about the connection. Um, so let's dive in. Let's take a look here. Aries through Pisces. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. Right. We have this, the Tower card and Epiphany. This is you getting some sort of truth. This is you cutting through the BS this week in a breakthrough. Some of you it could be an air sign or it could be an Aries Taurus that's causing some drama, uh, an Aries Scorpio that's causing some drama, or Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right. And we have, look at this, you have the Queen of Swords and you have the Queen of Cups underneath the tower. So you see that there's somebody here trying to get in the middle of you and another person. But we're going to see a major breakthrough with that tower card. We're going to see something shaken up, all right? Uh, something, it's going to happen unexpectedly, right? You may be shaking something up. Because the thing is, is there's a queen of cups here, and you're looking, so, you know, there could be jealousy here, resentment, bitterness. All right, we have Aries. We have the hermit card, all right? The hermit card and the eight of cups. All right, so Aries is trying to figure out their own path right now. Um, it seems as though they've felt distant or alone, and they may not even know um, how you truly feel. 
We have the Eight of Cups showing that um, if you're feeling ignored by an Aries, they may have no clue uh, they're in their own cave, in their own mind, in their own world, introverted uh, right now. And they may be trying to focus on what it is they want. There's potential for you and an Aries to pick up and move on this new path and move forward. So if you've been uncertain, this could be a week where um, if you feel like uh, uh, Aries has pulled away, um, I think I think that they're just alone and they're just doing some self reflection and wanting to figure out what they want to do. So they are single. They're they're not showing up as being with anybody or wanting to be with anybody else. Taurus, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Six of Wands. So you and a Taurus, right? Hallelujah is what I hear there. It's like yes, it's like we made it through some hurdle. Right. So a Taurus has deep feelings for you and very attracted to you and loves, loves you, loves how given you are, loves how successful you can be and everything you do. Um, they just you're in the spotlight. Uh, so it seems as though you and a Taurus being able to express your feelings to one another this week, you may find yourself or your Taurus more open to expressing their feelings this week. Gemini, the judgment card. And we're getting the page of swords. So there may be some news about judgments coming in with a Gemini. There may have been some past decisions made on other situations. There may have been some information that was given that um, this or some clarity coming in from a Gemini. This communication between you and a Gemini that might be clearing up the air and figuring out what's really going on. Um, because they're very curious about you and very interested in you. And the judgment card shows a second chance here uh, with a Gemini. Cancer, we have two of wands and we have the five of swords. So there seems to be some deceit that's holding back a Cancer. Uh, there could be some arguing or manipulation or um, frustration or some gossip and noise that's going on with a Cancer. All right, so we are seeing though a cancer still thinks about you. A cancer wants to move forward with you, wants to make contact with you. And there's a lot of stress here um, with a cancer. And you may not be seeing things clearly. There could be somebody else that's created some sort of drama again that's coming through here with a cancer. Leo, the nine of wands and the six of pentacles. All right. A Leo is not giving up on you. A Leo really wants to give to you, really finds you very caring, generous, um, and loves, loves everything about you, really respects you. Uh, seems as though you have a Leo that feels a bit under the weather, has been through a lot. Um, they may pull back a little bit. They're worn out, but they're not giving up on this connection. There might be a minor setback. There could, again, the six of pentacles shows a friend energy again just you know take the reading for what it is there you know they might not think or know that you want more than friendship for some of you but i do see a balance coming in with you and a leo we have virgo three of swords and the emperor cards so you have a libra here that um wants to make peace, wants to step up. There could have been some pain, some some disappointment here with a Libra energy. The Emperor card is saying, take action. It's time to, time to act and step up. Some of you could be separating from a Libra. Some of you could be healing from a Libra. It depends on where you're at um, with a Libra. But there is a sense of disappointment or sadness. And the Emperor card here is talking about making some sort of peace with a Libra. Scorpio, Ten of Swords, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So you have a Taurus here. Um, again, I'm getting this friend thing. I mean, a, a friend energy. Uh, Scorpio here wanting to um, apologize or wanting to build something with you, wanting to step up. Right, the Ten of Swords as they feel betrayed. A Scorpio feels betrayed, um, or they feel like they betrayed themselves when they betrayed you. Uh, but the Page of Pentacles is showing a compromise or wanting to build something. And if this is a Scorpio that's coming out of a situation, all right, they really want to get to know you um, with the Page of Pentacles. They really want to see where things go. Sagittarius, Four of Pentacles, and the Magician card. So a Sag is not letting go of you. Sag is, you know, having a hard time opening up their heart right now. They're really, really thinking and focusing, and uh, they focus on their their monies and their work and things like that. But it looks as though they're taking action and they can see potential between the two of you. 
So you and a Sag here, um, anything's possible. I definitely see some communication. Capricorn, Page of Wands, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's going from flirty to more serious this week with a Capricorn. All right, you guys seem to have a lot of fun, um, and you're worth you're worth it to them. They feel it's, they want to step up their game and uh, make an offer to you. Aquarius, the Five of Wands and the Lovers card. So there's some conflict and a choice or some triggering between you and Aquarius. All right. Um, we are seeing the Lovers card. There's a love connection here, but you may not be seeing eye to eye. There could be a power struggle. There could be some deep triggering wounds when it comes to the Lovers and the Five of Wands. All right. There also could be somebody else and they need to make a choice. An Aquarius needs to make a choice here. Um, but there is some triggering and some conflict, but there is some communication. So there could be some arguing and getting to the point this week and finding some sort of mediation or reconciliation. Pisces, you have the nine of cups. All right. So you're going from the eight of cups to the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles. All right. So you are walking towards knowing your worth this week, stepping into your power. All right. Your happiness and well being is the most important right now. And you and another Pisces here could be solidifying something. You both desire the same thing and want the same thing. Long term commitment. All right, guys, I love you, and I hope this helps. Let me see if I can get anything else for you before I go. Summertime. So from now, this summer season is very important for you. And we've got autumn. So we are seeing from now into um, Virgo season, Virgo in Libra season. All right. So it's going to be a very strong six months from you. And the new moon cancer, uh, whatever's manifesting this week, next week is the new beginnings of this energy. It's manifesting um, throughout the next six months. All right. So expect the sun, the happiness, and your well-being. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Take care.